In this video, we're going to take a look at adding in a relative URL or file path into the action attribute of our form element. So let's open and close our form, add in our field set, add in our legend, and I'm just going to type in action attribute. Then I'm going to add in just one input of type text. I'm going to give it a name of username. Close it like that and have our input of type submit. And we'll just leave the default text on that button. So now let's put in our action and our method and our method we will be using get. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a new HTML file inside this HTML directory by right clicking, going down to new file, and we'll name this destination.html. We're just going to create our basic HTML5 document structure for this destination.html. forgetting our character set UTF-8 and our title we'll just call this destination and our body Whoop. and here I'm just going to type in some text inside a paragraph this is the destination right so now I'm going to go ahead and save this and head over back to our forms.html file and now we can add in the destination.html file as a relative file path or URL. As it's in the same directory, this HTML directory, we can just refer to it by using its name. So destination.html. So now let's load this up in the browser by saving it and going to preview. And take a look at what happens once we've specified the action attribute to a actual HTML file rather than leaving it blank. So we're on forms.html. I'm just going to enter in some arbitrary data. Just type in a few A's. Click submit. As you can see, we've been sent to destination.html and the query string has been formed. With the username being the name attribute of the text field and AAAA being the value that I've entered into that text field. So this is our destination.html file. Now to actually have a valid HTML form, we actually need to put in a destination per se for our action attribute. If we leave this blank, this would actually show an error in the validator. But by putting in the actual value for the action attribute, we actually have a valid HTML form. So I hope you've learned a little bit about using the action attribute and sending data to a different HTML file. 